What have you got there, Mark? This, James, is the new mini driver from TaylorMade. Should we, should we do it? Let's do it. Let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your very first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. And second of all, please take just one second to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. In today's video, we are putting the brand new TaylorMade Original One Mini Driver in the hands of our very own mid-handicap tester, Mark. That would be me. So Mark, the Original One Mini Driver from TaylorMade. What are your initial thoughts? Well, I, I guess probably like a lot of people, I've never heard of a mini driver. Yeah. So, so. So you've not this is so you've not had the thing. SLDR mini driver, the Aero Burner mini driver. No. 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 Okay. No, no. I've I've not heard of any of them. Okay. So, first first look at it. I mean, it looks very nice, of course. Yeah. But what is it? It's my. So thoughts. the mini driver is a 13 and a half degree, 275 cc head with the shaft length of a three wood, designed primarily to help people like yourself or myself, hit the fairway, as opposed to not hit the fairway. Okay. So what we'll do today, we shall hit a couple of these, or we, I've already tested this, so if you do want to see my test of the original one mini driver, I will link that throughout, but we're gonna test this against this. Mark's current gamer, the TaylorMade M6. And you're liking this, aren't you? I do like it, yes, I get on very well with this one. Okay, let's see if we can get you to hit more fairways, and let's also see if the distance correlation is what we think it would be. Yeah, yeah. Okay? That'll be good. So Mark, I think we hit half a dozen shots with each. Okay. And we'll okay. keep swapping in and out just to make sure it's a nice fair test. Yeah, sure. All right then. See how we go. So, mini driver first then. I've had to tee up the ball lower, of yeah. course, because it's a smaller head. I think, I think as you kind of said in your review, um, the black top line, on the club, just just makes the face merge. You watched my review. It's not clear. Did you watch my review? Of course, I watched your you review. You watched my review. So, so I, like like you, I'm thinking. Oh, it was a good start. That's a very good start. I got through it. Yeah. There you go. So, Mark, we have got we've got the mini driver set at its standard 13 and a half degrees. Okay. What what are you gaming the M6 in at the moment? Nine and a half. Okay. Yeah. Demand. Perfect. So the difference primarily is 95 cc's in the head, a couple of degrees in the loft, and a couple of inches in the shaft. In the shaft. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just like the caddy in this video. <laughs> yes, be the caddy. That's a missed fairway. That's gone. So that's two down. Four to go. <laughs> no, no. So came off the bottom corner. Your three shots in there with the mini driver, obviously you've hit a couple with your standard driver. Does the head size do anything to your confidence? So if you stand over the golf ball? It doesn't make me any less confident. Okay, yeah. Yeah. With it. I think I think the, the, the key for me is the fact that the shaft is a bit shorter. Yeah, so you feel that, that gives it, yeah. me a bit more confidence than, yeah. than the driver yeah. shaft does. Um, so I think it's more of a shaft length than the, yeah. than the head size for me. Okay, well, we'll have a couple more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Nice. Another fairway found with the driver, Mark. Coming out fairly nicely from the middle of that one, as it happens. Uh, although, you know, other than the uh, the Hoyt left yeah. with the uh, the mini driver, everything else appears to have come out fairly middling as well. Yeah. And interestingly, so today, not quite swinging at your best. No. And that's why we do these mid handicap tests. I want to be able to see how this club performs and how this club performs when you're not at quite swinging. Point point when you're yeah. swinging very, very well, it's hard to say 
if there's a huge difference, isn't there? But yeah, yes. Yes, because as you said, I mean, I'm, I know that I'm getting about sort of 240, 250 standard oh, yeah. with that. Yeah. So coming in here, we're only hitting 220 with this, and I'm immediately thinking, well, that's, they're just not comparable yeah. at all. Yeah. Whereas together, they're, they're yeah. more comparable. Yeah. Stood on the first tee, nice big draw. So you just need visualization, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> you broke the tee. Oh, I'm sorry. Bring your master's towel back and you go and do that. <coughs> I break balls, I break tees. <laughs> Haven't broke the club yet. No. Right, last one with the mini driver, Mark. Okay. Oh, that's put the cat on the pigeons. Yes. Pigeons. Yeah. Pigeons. Great swing. Awesome swing. Last one. I tried to get off that one a little bit more. Yeah. And Good. That's all we want. And it works. So the, the thing is, it's still a driver. At the end of the day, is it? Yeah. You still want to hit it as far as you as you can, really. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's the first one that slid off to the right. Look. I mean, it's ruined the dispersion. It's ruined my dispersion. Yeah. <laughs> so, Mark, six shots hit with the brand new original one mini driver, and I keep saying brand new as though the M6 isn't still brand new. It isn't brand new. It's it is still pretty brand new. Before we take a look at the numbers, as a mid handicap golfer, what are your thoughts on the mini driver concept as a whole and the original one? Um, I guess it's it's where does the mini mini driver sit in your bag? Great question. You know, so what I you're doing there is answering a, a question. A answering a question with a question. Yes. I like it. Very political. So so yes, I'm quite good at that. <laughs> Sometimes anyway. Uh, so, so it's where does it sit and if you if you make it replace your driver, if it replaces the driver then then what does this bring to the bag? For me it would bring a little bit more confidence over the ball perhaps because mm -hmm. of the shorter yes. shaft. Um, it hasn't today anyway proven that it's more of a fairway finder than my driver no, is I think that's and I think we'll enough. find out that it's 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 shorter than my driver. Yeah. But I'd be interested to see on see that front. So would I want to replace my driver with it? Not sure. Yeah. Would I try and replace my three wood with it? Again, there's a potential there, um, but I know that I know that I like my three wood. And Who I, here wants to see Mark hit one off the deck when we take a look at these numbers? Well, you, it's not live, so I'm going to say that yes, you do. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll hit one off the deck and see see what it's like. Yeah, should we take a look at the numbers. Yeah, let's have a look okay. at the numbers. So first things first guys, dispersion. Now that's pretty good for Mark with the driver. That last one, he was very disappointed with the last one because it went right and otherwise the dispersion was all pretty nice and consistent there. We take a look over to the mini driver, the fairway finder. I'm not going to lie, that's not fantastic is it? Let's take a look at the numbers and let's start with the M6 Gamer. So the longest we had today was 230, shot number two. Shortest was 214, which wasn't your best strike. Averaging 223, which is spinning at three and a half, which is a lot for Mark. Club head speed of 92 and a ball speed of 137. Obviously we'll round those up. What about the mini driver? Mini driver, longest of the day, 222, which was the final one. Shortest 209, average 215. So 215 as opposed to 223. So eight yards in it. Club head speed, interestingly, not a lot in it, half a mile an hour. And ball speed, three miles an hour in it. Spinning again, kind of three and a half just over. Thoughts? Well, um, I think we just predicted just, that. Yes, I'm mean, just looking we? at the distances with the mini driver they were a little bit more consistent than the than the, the m6 driver was yeah, yeah. as far as actual length goes um although it's only sort of well you, you wouldn't know, take 10 to you wouldn't take that out just because for 10 I, yards difference would you no just it's more no. consistent I, and what we do know is the dispersion of 
this was significantly better for me yeah. than this. Than Do you think that's down to the head? It's got to be down to the head size, hasn't it's it? It's got to be down to the head size, yes. Yeah, yeah the slightly bigger obviously face on the twist longer, face on Longer it. shaft, Yeah. but the 360cc head obviously gives you that little bit more forgiveness with off-centre hips, yeah. maybe. Yeah, I, I mean, I you'll be the first time that you've probably not swung your best today. No, I haven't, not but at all. That, for me, is when a mid-handicapper wants to be testing a club, wants to be trying a club, not yeah. necessarily when you're swinging at your ultimate, because that can be dangerous. No, that's right. Definitely. I mean, the fact that I wasn't, I wasn't not, str not swinging well means I haven't got the distance, but the club is giving me the forgiveness to be consistent yeah. as far as dispersion is concerned. Okay. Well, so. there's one thing left to do. I want to see one off the deck. Off the deck? Off okay. the deck. I'll give you the driver back. <laughs> yeah. And I'll have the other driver in my hand. Send us away. What are your predictions? Uh, my prediction is this will be a low I'm going to say there's like a shot. metal pole that runs along here, so if you see the camera like quickly move. Yes, I suspect this will be a low shot. Called it. <laughs> Not done bad actually. Oh, carried 200. Yeah, <laughs> very good. Mark, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. If people haven't hit the subscribe button, what should they do? Hit the subscribe button now. And leave us a, a thumbs up as well, please. And we'll see you tomorrow. See ya.